this. Look at there. Nice. Well, good morning, folks. Welcome back to Rod's Fishing Adventures. We're back out on the lake day. It is post spawn. The fish have moved, the crappie have moved off the banks for the most part. You can still catch a few small ones on the bank, but they moved to deeper water. I'm going to show you how I locate these fish and how I fish for them. And we're going to see if we can catch a few. I'll start out with my six foot two piece ACC. It's got a Segoy Lang. I bought it because it matched the color, but it's been a pretty good reel. Six pound vicious. I got a two inch uh ghost hunter chub on white and chartreuse with a chartreuse 130 second head so come along with me i'll show you how i locate these uh post spawn crappie and see if we can catch a few of them First cast. Don't feel like it's a very big one. It's not. But heck, first fish, first cast. Not bad. I'd say he's six, seven inches long. Not a very big one. These fish are in about 10 to 15 foot of water, folks. Um, they moved off the bank they're in brush piles out in 10 to 15 foot of water some of them may be a little deeper right now they're suspended about five foot below the surface uh, this morning probably when the sun gets up and this water starts heating up a little bit they'll go a little deeper but we'll see so there's our first one Like that. I missed him. I paused for a little, few seconds, let's think back down. Little yellow bass. Might keep him, he's a pretty decent size one. They're good eating too, a little yellow bass. And everything on these dudes are sharp. They will cut you. Yep. I'll throw him in the pot. This is a crappie, it's a good one. It's a bass, I believe. Once you get in that trolling motor. Yeah, if it's a bass. No, oh, hey, there. That's, that's a striper or a hybrid. Man, he. Get him in there before he breaks the line. There we go. Hybrid. Wiper. Wiper, whatever you're going to call it. Striped bass. White bass. No, that ain't the white bass. That's, that's a hybrid there. White bass got that little break in the lines. Mm. Well, there he come off. There we go, folks. He ain't huge. He's all right. And her fighting little dudes. Oh, that's a long hair there. That's a long hair sunfish. Pretty little, pretty little guy. Oh wait, that no, that's, my, that's a pumpkin seed. That's a pumpkin seed. He, he got a little shorter ears. Where we're at now, this bank drops off pretty steep. We're in about 15 foot of water where the boat's setting. 
upper arm casting's probably 10 to 12 right off the bank. That bank's almost straight up and down through there. Something small hitting at it. There we go. There we go. Large mouth. He ain't a huge one, but get up in here. He's probably a pound, pound and a quarter, maybe. There we go. That's not what we're after, but hey, we'll take him. What we got here is a brush pile about oh, 15, 20 foot off the bank. The bank's almost straight up and down here too. Sitting in about 15 foot of water. There's crappie suspended over top of it. I'm throwing that lure past it and reeling in over top of that brush pile real slow. So far, just two little bitty ones on it. Oop, there's a there's a bite. Oh, well, might be a little better fish here. Yeah, a little bit better. Not much. A little bit. Might be a keeper. Like I said in another video, this, this lake has no limits, size, or creel. They want you to keep everything because it's overpopulated. I don't think he's my size. I like keep nine inches or bigger. He's right at nine inches. He might be a keeper. He'll be close. He'll be a close one. Calm down now. There you see. Eh, I don't think he is. Eh, right nine inches. They're fooling me. Butterfish. GoPro, you start, GoPro, start recording. Oh, you're already recording. Never mind. Yep, that's a keeper. I believe. Yeah, he's a little better fish. Yeah, sharp. I'm what they call dock shooting up underneath this bridge because you can't already cast under it. But I believe he's a nine incher. Ooh. No better fish, whatever it is, or frisky. Ah. Probably, man, he, he ain't very big, but he uh he put up a heck of a fight. I believe he's nine. If he's not, he's close. Oh, we got some fighting right in. Oh, a little bluegill. Man, he swallowed it. Catch this bait out of him. That's a little black crab. 
probably there. Yeah, he might be a little short. We'll check him out. Oh yeah, he's way short. He's only eight inches. People. Not what I'm after, but there's my ass. Right, come on. A little one, quarter pounder. That's a good one, I think. Oh yeah, maybe not. Boy, he sure felt big coming out of that water. He's not but nine inches. He's a keeper though. Started out casting to him, now I'm just vertical jigging. A little deeper water here in them limbs. They're laying down in them limbs, so it'd be kind of hard to cast to them and not be hung up every, every cast. Vertical jigging, you can get in there and get right in them limbs, drop it straight in, pull it straight out. You get hung up every once in a while, but. Well, that was quick. There we go. Ooh, that's not sure. That's a keeper. We're in about 15 foot of water. There's a tree run out in the top of it. It's all right in here, all the limbs and stuff. These fish are about 10 foot deep in it. Eh, I don't know if he's a keeper or not. But, uh, that's what I was saying. The, the fish have moved out there 10, 15, 20 foot of water. Nah, he's only eight and a half. Um, and they're holding on to that structure right now, treetops and stuff. And they will be under docks and stuff too. Probably find them underneath there right now. But, uh, that's where they're at now. As the water warms up more, they'll move deeper. Ooh, there's a good one. That's the best one all day right there. Come out underneath that dock. I was just saying, folks, if they ain't out, they'll be out in deeper water in their brush piles and they'll be up underneath these docks now. Look at there, there's the best one all day. That's, that's probably a 10 incher anyway. That's pretty bad when a 10 incher is a good fish all day. But hey, I'll take him. Oh, heck yeah, he's about 10 and a quarter. Let's see if we can catch another one of them. That's better crappie. There we go. Get him in the boat. There's another 10 or 10 and a half right there. There we go, folks. Not huge, but a good eater. So they're in a little deeper water now. You want to, I can hang on to them. He's about ten and a half. Uh, you don't look anywhere from 10 to 15, 20 foot of water, brush piles and that kind of water, docks. Docks is another good place. Right now, Throw a bass lure, shad, shad lure, shad looking lure. 
I think it's one about one of those art trail jobs. And I got a fish. Look at there. Nice crappie. <laughs> you know what? I believe I'm gonna call it a day on this one, folks. That's a ten and a half eleven. Mm, dang, go on, he ran that thing in me. Yep, ten and a quarter. There we go. Feels like a man. Yeah. Maybe it's not a huge one, but I believe I'm going to call it a day on this one, folks. I've caught several keepers, nothing big. Ten and a half inches is the biggest one. But uh, remember, 10 to 15 foot of water, brush piles, under docks, that's where they're at now. So uh, they're off the banks. This I know I'm right here along the bank, but uh, this water is deep right here. I'm, I'm under 15 foot of water right here. so. Remember, if you like these videos, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, hit that notification bell, and share it with all your friends and family. I'd sure appreciate it, and God bless y'all.